to the 2019 edition of the Bourbon County Colonel Challenge. We're here just outside of the city limits of Paris. Beautiful day, right around 60 degrees. Kathy Johnston and Tim Henderlight are our meet officials. And they're off. Start of the boys' varsity 5K race here in Bourbon County. This is going to be the site of the Super Region for a lot of these schools that are competing here today. A little bit different course from prior years. Last year, um, the start was essentially in the same area. The backfield was uh, configured a little bit differently. Good rolling hills, no super large hills to contend with, but a few rolling hills. We're here now at the 1K mark. Race time right around three minutes or so. Going through the cornfields, shady, pleasant weather. We have 17 boys varsity teams competing here today. Teams competing, St. Patrick's, Nicholas County, Model, Fleming County, Bergen, we have LCA competing, We've got the boys from Montgomery County under a new head coach. Bracken County's competing here. Sayer. GRC, Scott County. Amongst other teams competing here, we'll give you a complete list here in just a little bit. Be taking you to a, uh, another section of the race here in just a moment. Catching up with some of our race leaders. Just past the one mile mark in the race, kind of a switchback right here. Course has a decent number of switchbacks, so it's going to be a strategic course. As mentioned before, this is going to be a regional site. One of the super region sites. We're at the Bourbon County Colonel Charge 2019 edition of this meet. Now last year, the uh, Scott County boys really came out here. I think they, uh, I think they might have won this. Did really well. But uh, kind of a precursor for how they were going to do at regional competition. That's in uh, Class 3A, Region 6, that the Scott County boys compete in. Don't have a full complement of that region here. We have Montgomery County and George Rogers Clark and Anderson County. Scott County. Also have a new addition to that region. Great Crossings. They have the blue jerseys with the GC on their uh, chest. Great Crossings. Uh, Scott County's had a football competition, first ever, just recently, last night. I believe Scott County won that. We're now at the 2K mark. A little bit of an incline before they go into the forest and the cornfields. You're watching Bourbon County Colonel Charge. It's kind of developed into uh, one of the early season meets, large meets for Central and Northern Kentucky. A lot of schools from both areas. Many Eastern Kentucky schools here, but a lot of the Region uh, Six, Class Three A, competing other places. I believe Lafayette is up at the Tiger Run. They've won 
that uh, their region last year. So it'll be interesting to see how they match up. But this is the start of the season. Every team has an opportunity. Every athlete pursuing their own individual goals. Had a few midweek meets, but first real Saturday Invitational Weekend of competition. Here's the TK mark. Other teams that are uh, competing here today. We have uh, Woodford County, as I mentioned before, Great Crossings. Anderson County, as I mentioned before. We have Scott, not different from Scott County, but Scott up in uh, northern Kentucky. Ryle and Campbell County competing here today. We'll be taking you to right around the three mile mark here in just a minute. You call from the distance you can see a lone runner. That's Connor Hayes from Lexington Christian Academy. Just past the three mile mark. Be looping around on some switchbacks backs here. Coming into the finish is Connor Hayes, the junior from Lexington Christian Academy. Connor's had a stellar career is a younger athlete and looks like now at the high school level he's starting his junior year off with a wonderful time on a challenging course. Here's our second runner, Tyler Walker from Scott County. He's finishing in a time of 16.49.08. like the Scott County boys are going to do well again, but it all depends upon how everyone else finishes on their team. That third runner was James Wireman from Scott County, finishing a time of 17.08. That fourth was just finished the line, crossed the line was Will Sandlin from Scott. Sandlin completed the course in 17.17. Waiting for our fifth runner to come across. Here they come. Mason Pierce from Anderson County, 1776. Foot race between Noah Sloan and Caden Johnson. Sloan's from Campbell County. Completed it in 1739. Right behind was Caden Johnson. Great crossings. Same time, 1739. Those were our six and seven finishers. Looking for the eighth finisher to cross the line here in just a moment. Looks like that's Bryson Lindhoff from Scott. I'm at 1810. For the nine, ninth finisher. Logan Stafford, Montgomery County. Anthony Roanbaum from or, Anthony's from Campbell County and had a couple of Ryle runners in behind him and they're all just starting to stream in now. Those were our top ten finishers. Just to repeat, Connor Hayes, champion, Tyler Walker. Runner-up from Scott County, James Wireman, third, Will Sandlin, fourth, Mason Pierce, fifth, Noah Sloan, sixth, Caden Johnson, seventh, Bryson Linhoff, eighth, Logan Stafford, uh, ninth, and Anthony Roanbaum, rounding out the top ten. You're watching the 2019 edition of the Bourbon County Colonel Charge, great awards here 
the team awards, I believe, for the high school varsity are uh, top of a bourbon barrel engraved with uh, the uh, neat name. Middle school awards, a piece of slate with the name of the meat on it. Classy awards, classy meat. Got lots more racing to cover here. Bourbon County, a super region site. I'm taking you to a race recap here in just a moment. Here's Connor Hayes coming across the finish line in slow motion. Congratulations, Connor Hayes. Looks like he's going to have a wonderful upcoming 2019 season.